guys, this is Versatile from Money in Phoenix. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you a program that I've been using for quite a while. It's called WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. It's a great program from Digiarity. Real quick, if you go to the more info section, there's a link to this website where you can read more about this program. Basically what it is, is a converter program, on one editing. It takes whatever video in, uh, format that you input and converts it to all these other formats, including the video and also the audio. And you can read more about all the different features, but rather than talk about this and show you this, let me just show you exactly what the program does by going through the actual program itself. So let's go ahead and run the program. And this is what it looks like. So bottom line is, let's go ahead, you can add a video, you can add a DVD, or you can add a YouTube. So let's uh, go ahead and add a video real quick here. So let's say I select this PD2 uh, video that I've done for a video game tutorial in the past, and we have th these different profiles. So like for example, if I want to convert this to a different um, MP4 or AVC or AVI and all these other profiles, I can certainly do that for a computer. Or let's say I had, uh, I just want to rip the music out of it. So if I had a music video, for example, I can select MP3 and it'll rip out the audio and convert to a uh, MP3. So that's pretty cool. Or let's say I had a, a device. So let's say I had an iPhone device and I want to convert this Fraps video video into a format that is suitable for an iPhone 5 for example I can also do that as well so and there's all these other profiles Android pad mobile Microsoft device Sony device so let's say I want to convert it to uh, for a PSP so I click on OK then I click on run before I click on run you have these different options here so if you want to use a high quality video engine you can use that deinterlacing safe mode where it helps with the conversion process it takes a little bit longer but hey it might be worth it and then if you have multiple videos here it can also uh, merge it into one master video and then how many cores you want to use so if I click on run for example it's gonna go ahead and go in the process of converting the video into a format that is suitable for my PSP. But I'm going to stop that for purposes of this video tutorial because we're just talking about the process here. So let's go ahead and delete this. Another cool feature is YouTube download. So let's say, for example, you insert a YouTube link. So here's a link that I've done before. So I'll do it again. This is a YouTube video that I did for Dungeon Siege 2. Shows you how to play land online with Game Ranger. So I go ahead and click on Analyze what it is going to do is going to analyze all the different resolutions that you can download which is nice because you don't have to use Google Chrome or Firefox or any plug-in browser you can use this program to download the file and then convert it into whatever you need so I'm gonna go ahead I want to select this mp4 file for example click on OK I have my profile I'm gonna say I want to convert it for my Android mobile and let's say I have a Samsung and I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna say low quality for now, and I click on run, it's going to go ahead, take that file, it's going to download the file, which is 29 megabytes. After it's downloaded, then it's going to go ahead and proceed and convert it. So I'm going to stop that, but at least you guys understand what that process is. So let me go ahead and remove this. Uh huh. If I had photos, so if I had a bunch of photos that I can import, then you can go ahead and make a slideshow, add music, um, be creative with that stuff. But I don't have any photos to show for this purpose of this video. But at least you get the idea. And then options, um, options, you know, just basic options. Where do you want to output your um, projects, basically? And then check new version. So at the time of this recording is 421, but you can easily get new versions that way. And then over here, you click on the question mark and go to help. Here's a, a section of all the different things about this program in terms of the different toolbars and what they do and the different functions and features. So if you ever get stuck, by all means, check out the help section and you'll be good to go. I've looked it over as pretty good document material. And that is today's video tutorial. So if you have any questions about today's video, let me know. Otherwise, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.